uh, Protection Alliance. Reforming prior authorization practices of insurers is a top priority for both the North Carolina Medical Society and the American Medical Association. Two decades ago, we fought against these abusive practices and unfortunately they've resurfaced again in a new form. I commend this board for requesting an analysis of this important issue. Prior authorization can deprive both employers and, and um, employees of coverage that they've already paid for. We have reviewed the presentation that you are hearing today and it offers some encouraging updates regarding Aetna and the prior authorization process. It suggests a significant reduction in both the number of CPT codes subject to prior authorization and the time required to obtain approval for treatments. We believe other measures warrant your consideration and adoption. We urge the board to adopt the patient protections, including in House Bill 649, which passed the North Carolina House with unanimous support last year and includes provisions endorsed by the American Medical Association and acted by other states, thus requiring insurers like Aetna to implement them. These are the common sense reforms that are recommended. Insurance companies must make utilization review requirements and restrictions to be easily understood, accessible to the public, and updated annually. Prior to denying any recommended care, the insurer must talk with the treating physician. Third, the physicians reviewing the appeals of patients who have been denied care must have similar or like credentials as the treating physician and must experience um, and just, uh, similar to the patient. And four, time limits on when the insurer must make the decision in those cases. Finally, continuity of care and limits on retrospective denials, concerns, including in your presentations, and commend Siegel for recommending. Physicians across the states have shared alarming stories in terms of how prior authorizations negatively impact their patients. The AMA estimates 13 hours of work goes in, which is two days for us to do this work. As a representative of almost 9,000 members of the North Carolina Medical Society, we encourage you to consider these common sense reforms and in addition recommendations offered by your consultant. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Dr. Uh, 